Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday. It is the Earth Master out here, July 14th, 2024, 1226 p.m. here, California time. Latest activity here on the globe shows a 5.0 5 .5 earthquake here into the uh, area of the, this looks like the Southeast Indian Ridge region, a uh, divergent boundary activity event here. South of Australia, the latest quake here on the globe. As far as anything major going on overnight, let's see what we got here across the uh, the area. Looks like a 5.3 coming into the Fiji area. It's about the uh, latest one here. Newest earthquake since about midnight. This one pretty deep once again. 586 kilometers here into the Tonga Trench. Getting a, a trail of deep earthquakes here into this area once again. Lacking some significant earthquake activity here around the Fiji area to the west to Papua New Guinea, but uh, it's been awfully quiet here. I'm expecting this to fill in here any minute. Uh, it cannot stay, uh, it doesn't stay quiet for too long. Uh, as far as California goes and the Pacific Northwest, the last earthquake of 4.3 up here off the coast of Canada is the latest quake here. Uh, really nothing else showing up for now. Uh, very spotty as we head down through Northern California and the rest of the West Coast or the rest of Southern California as well. Uh, 2.3 in the Tom's Place area outside Long Valley Super Volcano. And as you can see down here in Southern Cal, we got the earthquake from yesterday, that 3.2. Really just generally small microquake activity out here today. Nothing of any major interest. Uh, up there around Yellowstone. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the Yellowstone overview real quick. And not a whole lot happening up here either. A couple smaller microquakes there at that specific station around the Maple Creek area. But generally speaking, it's awfully quiet out here. Awfully quiet. Uh, about the same here for the uh, Texas area in Oklahoma. One earthquake. About 4 o'clock this morning, shaking things up out there in Oklahoma for a 3.5. Outside of the Woodward area, if I remember right, there's uh, could be some oil fields out here as well. Uh, backing out, East Coast, pretty quiet. Middle America Trench and the South America area, let's see here, looks still fairly active across these regions. Been watching this over the last couple days increase and the uh, multitude of quakes out here that appears to be the uh, case out here today still uh, the latest one of 4.5 off the coast there of nicaragua 36 kilometers deep here into the southern end of the middle america trench also a handful of earthquakes here off the uh, panama coast 4.3 to 5.4 from yesterday so increasing activity here across the middle america trench should amplify conditions here across Puerto Rico and the rest of the Caribbean plate. This area gets squeezed around and pushed around a lot. And uh, when we've got a lot of strain here against the Middle America Trench, this all moves here in the general direction of the Caribbean plate, which includes the uh, Puerto Rico area. Uh, really nothing of major concern up there for now. South America, there's a, a few earthquakes there on the map. Looks like most of those uh, four-pointers and five-pointers from yesterday. A handful of smaller quakes down there um, as well from yesterday. Super deep quakes over here around the Izu Trench. Look at that. Getting some activity stirring up out over here. Once again, let's see here. There's 4.7. Where's that super deep earthquake? I wonder if USGS is reporting it. There's 4.5. Volcano Islands. It does appear to be on the northern edge of the Mariana Trench here. Uh, early this morning, 4.5, 164 kilometers deep. Uh, fairly significant deep earthquake. Uh, but I think I see a deeper one in there. Four, uh, we got a 4.2, a little bit further up north. That's sitting at 470 kilometers deep. So I don't see that here on the USGS map. They're lacking one more earthquake here. That's a deeper one. But, uh, a lot of activity stirring up here across the Filipino trench or the uh, Filipino plate here today. Up and down the Philippines is a pretty good cluster of earthquake activity as well. I 
Let's see, the Alaska region. Got one earthquake here on the Aleutian Trench. It's going to be a 4.2 earthquake. Been off and on activity here over the last week or so. Really no major quake activity, just some 4s and 5s stirring up out here across the plate boundary. Uh, this earthquake coming in this morning for a 4.5, 51 kilometers deep. Out here into the New Zealand area once again. Magic numbers are threes. Getting some adjustment going on here across the area of the play boundary. No major earthquake activity out there for now, though. But uh, keep an eye on certain regions that have been awfully quiet here over the last couple weeks. And that includes this large seismically gapped area uh, in terms of, you know, typical movement out here. These guys should have seen a decent earthquake by now. And really nothing has been stirred up out there yet. Over here in the Central Pacific, an earthquake here along the west coast of the Big Island. 2.6 coming in, 38 kilometers deep. And for the most part up here across the Kilauea Volcano, things look generally light in terms of earthquake activity, but let's go double check that. See what we have going on here from the USGS page. I'll check out uh, the seismograph station right about here, somewhere hiding underneath there. Yeah, there's, there's still some activity stirring up out here. If you look at all these little spikes, those are all definitely earthquakes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lose my voice out here this weekend. Tired of the hot weather. Every time I go outside, it feels like an oven. Except for I don't smell any cookies out there baking. A lot of little, very small microquake activity events, but uh, still looks somewhat active. A lot more than uh, what's being shown here on the USGS map. Very small earthquakes, but I guarantee you there's definitely more uh, occurring on this in this area. As far as the deformation data goes, check this out real quick. Co coming back down a little bit, a little deflationary activity there across the summit area, but still up there. Still climbing uh, as far as long-term trend models go. We're at the highest level observed at the summit and the upper east rift zone since 2018. As far as the uh, Atlantic goes, uh, we got some uh, pretty quiet down south, but we got some activity stirring up here across the rift boundaries of Iceland. So we better go see what's going on up there. Remember I said to look for that last night? Uh, I don't want space weather yet. I want the Iceland earthquake map here. That is just south here of the Reckonis Peninsula. Getting a little swarm of activity out here. This is what I've been talking about. You've got to keep an eye on these uh, increasing movements here north or south and also generally across the entire rift boundaries uh, for amplification, which could stir things up here across this area of the Savart Singi region around the Grindavik. Uh, right now, there's not a whole lot of activity there, but uh, keep your eyes open there around that uh, region. Let's see what we got for the eight-hour run times as far as inflation goes. And we're going to go over here just in general to the Grindavik region. Still going up here, folks. As you can see, we're pretty much matched the uh, previous level of inflation just prior to the eruption there. Uh, end of May. So things are advancing pretty quickly. Could see things um, pop off here at any time. And the key to watching that, of course, is going to be all the earthquake activity, which is not amplified yet there around the Savart Singi area. It is a little bit around the rift zones, but uh, we'll keep our eyes open. Uh, here's a view, general view here from the webcams. No signs of an eruption at the surface, obviously. Looks like a cloudy, got to be a, it's got to be a lot colder up there than it is in Northern California. Um, I'm tired of this heat. I would take a day like this over sunshine and 110 any day. Give me the nice, cool, cloudy weather. All right, space weather activity. Well, looks like we're currently flaring with some sea flare activity. I did see a bunch of M flares last night and even an X flare pop off here. From Sunspot 3738. These guys look like they're taking their time. There we go. 
Uh, there's that X flare. It did peak out uh, about an X 1.2. Since then, uh, another M flare or two and some C flare activity on that chart. Uh, there's the X 1.2 from 37.38. That's going to be the sunspot, which is now approaching the far western limb of the sun. Still looking quite dynamic out here. Uh, but I think if anything does blast off in this position, as far as a CME event goes, then it will be not uh, obviously not Earth directed. May get a little glancing hit, but I don't think we've seen anything blast. I don't think we saw anything blast off here uh, in the last couple uh, flares. A little bit of organization here with this sunspot, but really not expecting much. This one as well. So we'll watch all these little ones. This. This little guy back here looks interesting. It is getting uh, a little complex activity within that magnetic core, and that's going to be sunspot number 3751. We'll keep an eye, though, on a bunch of these and see what happens. 60% chance for an M-flare overall, 15% chance for X-flare, 99% certainty for the C-flare activity. Uh, no major roars in the forecast, and it looks like that coronal hole event that was calling for maybe a G1 class storm yesterday or last night never materialized as you can see there on the um, the chart KP index uh, barely reached into the two level no major roars in the forecast and again we'll watch these uh, these sunspots as they continue to uh, evolve and face the earth a few of them uh, let's check out the tropics here, see what's going on. We do have uh, maybe some type of tropical disturbance out here in the eastern Pacific. Very low percentage here over the next seven days at 20%. Within the next 48 hours, nada. Uh, out in the Atlantic, take a look out here. Really nothing of any concern right now, which is a good sign, right? Want to keep those uh, hurricanes at bay or out of the bay anywhere. Just out in the open water, I guess, out here in the ocean. And far as the uh, Central Pacific goes, pretty quiet. Really no major development there across the area for now. Uh, let's go back here to the North American map here. and uh, Where's Hawaii? Back over here. So there's a little bit of tropical development right here that may form in the next seven days. Uh, let's see what the weather forecast models are showing. There it is. Notice it split off of the main branch of moisture here. Uh, does look like it may turn into some type of system and then disappear. So, but I really don't see anything of major concern right now as far as hurricane development, and that's good. A lot of times these weather models will pick up even on the slightest risk, but uh, they look pretty quiet right now. Uh, we're left out here along the west coast just cooking and it looks like that high pressure is going to sit out here in the pacific and it, it's just not good i'm so tired of the heat i know it's summertime but it doesn't i don't remember i really don't remember times past here being 110 115 degrees all the time really no major signs of any uh, major pattern change out here either uh, we do have the member drawing coming up here tomorrow, folks. So if you didn't get a chance to jump on board, uh, the member drawing is held every 15th of the month where we give away some prizes to a lucky winner or two. And um, it can range from a $50 Visa MasterCard or gift card of your choice to an Earthmaster t-shirt of your choice or a 10-piece uh, geology mining kit we'd like to give away to our members uh, that uh, jump on board. And we do that every month. We'll do that again tomorrow. Live. Another earthquake coming in here. 4.4 within the last... Uh, well, that's... Yeah, that's almost an hour old. That is almost an hour old there. Let's see. Mediterranean area. Got uh, quite a few threes going on. Just a little quietness right now. I mean, there's def definitely a little bit of earthquake activity out here on a broad scale uh, type event, but really nothing major 
far as large magnitudes go still active all right folks hope you have a good day enjoy what's left here of the weekend seismograph stations are up live stream is back up it went down suspiciously about three o'clock in the morning again i don't know what goes on at three o'clock in the morning that would call for my stream going down but it does and if you've been watching this channel long enough you'll know that it uh it's a little fishy. It's been happening here the last couple of years, actually. And uh, still haven't figured it out. I've switched up computers. The good thing is, on my other, uh, I did have a different computer here. And somehow, some way, somebody found a method to reset my computer, like in the middle of the night. And it's I had the computer set up to where it would not restart by itself, even in a def uh, default it would not shut down and restart but uh, it automatically used to do that in the middle of the night for some reason and then the stream would go down now somehow they're able to pull the stream down but they've never been able to shut this computer off so I'd like to see him try it but I, I remember having a couple different computers do that until I got this newest one and the stream the stream would go down but far as any really funny business with the uh, computer it just doesn't seem to happen anymore which is good but Got to figure out why the stream's going down. Either way, it is up right now, folks. So I appreciate um, the new subscribers out here. Definitely gained quite a few here recently. Again, make sure you jump on board for the member drawing tomorrow, folks. Uh, it'll be open throughout the day, throughout tonight, up until we do the drawing tomorrow. And we'll probably shoot for... Probably about 3 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow, local time here, California. So that's going to be 6 p.m. here, Eastern. Uh, we'll do the drawing live as a secondary live stream. Um, I think it's more fair that way to let people see the winner being picked instead of just making an announcement, say, uh, okay, guys, we got the member drawing and so-and-so won. Well, you know, if I'm on the other side of the video I would want to see the drawing it's just like lotto numbers right you want to see the numbers being picked up you can make up any name you could say so and so one so I like to be fair and play it you know play it fair so everyone can see what's going on it's just that's how I'm how I always am I guess in everything in life so all right folks I'm out of here have yourself a good day we will catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening for the Sunday night update take care